Hello everyone, my name is Ruth Norton, I am Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamping Corner, and today I am beginning a really fun series on my blog, and you can get this kit so you can make these cards along with me as well. This is my Silly Goose stamp stack In this stamp stack you're going to get supplies for nine cards, all featuring the Silly Goose stamp set. So you can prep the supplies at home if you have these supplies. You can prep them at home on your own. If you don't have these supplies and you want to um, make these cards, there is a kit that you can get. You can get the make and take kit for these. The kit is $25. You get all the supplies for the cards. You get one six by six sheet of the Dandy Designs DSP. You're going to get all of the patterns in here. They are all cut to six by six. You're going to pick three of these to use for your cards. I'm gonna choose three different ones for the cards that I'm gonna make in the videos. I'm gonna choose these three, but you're gonna be left with a stack of paper that you can use for whatever you want. Also in your kit is going to be 30 of the iridescent pearls that you're also going to use in your kit. There are some supplies that you're going to need for your cards. So make sure that you uh, check the blog post for all of the supplies that you're going to need. Along with the inks, you're also going to need the Silly Goose stamp set, of course. If you don't have this one, you can shop for this in my online store. There's a link to shop in the video description or on my blog. If you have a different stamp set that you want to substitute, that's okay too. You're welcome to do that. Today, we are going to make this card. We're going to do the prep. We're going to trim up our DSP for all of the cards and we are going to do the prep and make this card. I have two more videos coming where we'll make this card and this card as well. But for today, we're just going to focus on this card. But before we do that, we need to trim up our DSP. Now, all of your card supplies will all be trimmed up and ready to go. If there's any die cutting, that will be done. But you will need to trim your own DSP. And I do that because I want you guys to choose the patterns that you want. So I chose three patterns, and they're different patterns than the first ones that I chose. And um, so just to show you that you can choose any, and there'll be a nice variation. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to cut two at a time here. I probably could cut three at a time, but I'm just going to cut two at a time. So the first cut that we're going to make, if you have a directional pattern for your DSP, um, make sure that that is in the directional pattern. I don't think that these are really directional, so it doesn't really matter. But we are going to cut this at four. Let's see, cut this at four. There we go. And then we're going to cut this piece at two. And at two again. So you should end up... When all of your pieces are cut, you should end up with nine pieces that are four by two. So I'm gonna do this one as well, just so that we can keep on track with everything. So I'm gonna cut this at four, and then we're going to cut this at two inches. Let me pull this back down into frame. There we go, two inches and two inches. And that will give us our four by two pieces. And you're going to end up with uh, nine of these. Okay, so that we're going to set those aside. We now have a piece that is six by two that is left. I am going to trim off one and a half inches on this. Like that. Save this piece. This is a half inch scrap. We're coming back to that. Don't worry. And then from here, we're going to cut uh, one inch pieces on this. Okay, so one, we're, you're going to end up with six of these. four and this one we should just cut right in half this should be one inch perfect Whoop. there we go if you don't have the stampin up paper trimmer this is a great paper trimmer to have so you have six that are one and a half by one inch pieces and we're going to use all of those don't worry i'm going to set all of these aside and i'm going to trim this one the same way we're going to cut this at one and a half and we are going to save that half inch piece. I'm gonna set that aside. Well, I cut this down to one and I'm just gonna go on this side this time. Just push it this way. There we go. I love that our paper trimmer has rulers on both sides so you can decide what side you want to cut from. And one more. Okay, perfect. I'm going to put these in my little stack off to the side here. 
And we are left with these one or half inch strips here. So what we're going to do is just cut these at four. So we want a four by half inch strip. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all together. I think I can cut three at a time here. So keep the four by half inch pieces. And then this little piece here, this is scraps. You can keep this or you can toss this. this, this these pieces we will not be using. Okay, that's it with the paper trimmer. That's all the trimming we're going to do. Now for our card here, we're going to choose one of the two by four pieces and I am going to use this pattern here. I, this pattern has the fresh Frisian here and I really want to tie that into my to my bow here. So I'm going to choose that for all three of my my pieces here. And then you're just going to choose, you're going to need three piles of those one and a half by one inch pieces. Okay, all the rest of these DSP pieces can be put aside. We're going to use them for the other cards. But for now, for today, we're just going to put them off to the side. So I'm just going to stack them all up and I'm going to move them off to the side and we'll see them in the next two videos. Okay, so these are all of the supplies that we need for our cards today. Now I have already done the stamping and prep for two of my two of my little um, silly goose cards here. So I have those aside and I've also stamped two of the the greetings that we're going to use. So we have two of those done. Now for the stamping, I have stamped my goose on one of the tailor-made tags and you'll see that the balloon is cut off. That's okay. You want to make sure that your goose is centered. That's the important part. In your kit, you're also going to receive some white cardstock for you to stamp on and you just want to make sure that you stamp that balloon. You don't have to get the whole image. All I did was stamp that balloon. We're going to fussy cut that and adhere it over so this is the stamping that you want to do when you want to stamp this in memento black we're going to color these with stampin blends so i'm going to move these dsp pieces out of the way there we go and then we are going to do some coloring let's do the the coloring first i'm going to start with my fresh freesia i'm going to start with fresh freesia light and i'm going to color the balloons we're actually going to color both balloons this one we're going to color in light. I'm going to give it a good wash of color all over it with the light. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Now this one's not going to be seen. Again, like we're, I said, we're going to cover this one up. But if you're looking at it from the side, I want it to have some color underneath. I don't want it to be stark white. So that one's done. We're going to set that one aside. We're going to come back to this balloon that we're going to fussy cut. And I'm just going to add some shading just along the bottom, kind of in a C, just like that with the dark. And we're going to come back in and just blend that out with the light. And I'm not going to worry about coloring that, that right side of that balloon at all. I'm going to leave it nice and light. It's going to make it look very translucent. All right, that's it with our fresh freesia. I'm going to come in with my pale papaya now. I'm going to do my pale papaya light. But you know what? I forgot the hat. We're going to have to bring our fresh freesia back, but that's okay. It's right here. It hasn't gone anywhere. So I'm going to use my pale papaya light, color the, the goose's feet and its beak. And I'm going to come in with the dark and we're going to add some, some dark shading just on the beak, down the legs, just a little bit on the feet. And then just kind of touch up that beak, just kind of blend that together. All right, for our little hat, I'm going to just color the whole thing with the light. And then with the dark, we're going to do the pom-pom. And then I'm just going to go over those stripes, just a couple of them. You don't have to go over all of them, just to give it a little bit of dimension in that hat. All right, now the final thing that we're gonna color is we're actually going to add some color to the goose. We're not gonna do a whole lot of coloring because geese are typically white, so we're not gonna do too much. But I am gonna get my my color lifter out. I'm going to use the brush tip on my color lifter. I prefer the brush tip on my color lifter. And I'm using light smoky slate. And I am only adding a little bits of the gray. I'm not going to add a lot. I'm going to add a little bit where the wing is behind the body, a little bit under the hat, a little bit under the wings, kind of down here along the, the legs, and then just a little bit on its back. So I didn't add too much, just a little bit of color in a few places. And then I'm going to go in with my color lifter and we're just going to kind of soften up all of those, those harsh lines. We want to kind of take away that gray, but we want to leave the shading that it created. 
So I'm just going to kind of go over it, just brush my, my brush tip of my color lifter over it. And that's going to really soften it. And it's going to just kind of blend it into that white, just so it looks like it's a little bit more sh shading, more shadows other than coloring it. And you can do the same thing if you wanted with like pool party, that would also give really fun shading. Now, as it dries, it's going to really lighten up and you're going to end up with just a goose that has some nice shading on it. All right. That's all of the coloring we're going to do with our blends. We do have one more, a couple more things to stamp. Actually, I have a scrap piece of white here for our greeting. So I'm going to open that up. This is fresh freesia and we're going to stamp the greeting a silly goose told me it's your birthday now on the inside if you wanted to where's my silly goose stamp set did i lose it already where did it go ah. oh here it is um on the inside there's a greeting that said this silly goose forgot so you can do it silly goose told me it's your birthday on the inside you can do the silly goose forgot um so i think this is a great stamp set for you know those times where you know life happens we fall behind and we're sometimes late with people's birthdays. It happens. It's okay. I am just using um, a paper trimmer, just my small little guillotine one, just to trim up my greeting just to the size of the, around the words. We're not doing any kind of fussy cutting. We're doing straight cuts just around the words. All right, we have one more thing to stamp. We're gonna do these on our card bases. I have some petal pink ink here. And I'm actually going to grab the stamp. I forgot to grab it. I'm using the warm welcome. And I just want this little tiny heart down here. Now, if you have any stamp set with a heart, that will work. I know that we all have those stamp sets that always have those tiny little details. I'm going to use this little heart. You could use any other little detail that you want. You could use um, some splatter. You could use stars. That would be really cute for birthday cards. You can really use anything you want. I'm going to grab my three card bases. These are my petal pink ones for this card. And I'm going to fold them all on that score line. Your card bases will all be scored and they'll come with envelopes. So it's easy to fold them. And I'm just going to go through and add a little cluster of three stars here on the top right corner. And a little cluster of three stars down here on the bottom right corner, just like that. I'm just going to go through and add these up here too. This goes really quick. And again, you can use, you can do this detail with any small stamp you have. If you have little confetti stamp, that would be really cute with this card too. So just take a look at what you have and you can make it your own. All right, we're going to put that aside. We are done stamping. It is time to get this card assembled. And we're making three of them today, just like in the stamp stack. So by the end of the stamp stack, we're gonna have nine cards total. So let's start with our DSP. I'm gonna start with my bigger pieces of DSP. Let me grab my, my adhesive. I'm gonna use my stamp and seal for this. And I wanted that, that square pattern on the outside. So I'm going to add DSP or add adhesive to the backs of my DSP, although this this floral pattern would be so cute too. The DSP is from the Dandy Designs package. That is a celebration package. You can earn it free with a $100 order during celebration while supplies last. It's so fantastic. I love it. Okay, we're going to add the DSP and I'm going to add it a little bit on its side. It doesn't have to be straight. And I love that about these cards. That if it's crooked, that's okay. It's okay. It doesn't have to be straight. All right, so we have those on there. We are going to add these for all of them as well. So I'm going to put adhesive on the back of all of these smaller pieces of DSP. I'm going to grab them all and just go ahead and do my, all my adhesive at once, and that will save me some time. When you are doing like a stack of cards, you want to do the same step over and over again. So I, we did all of our cutting at once. We did all of our coloring at once. If, if I was making all three of those, I would have done all the coloring all at the same time. And that really helps things go a little bit quicker. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of each pattern. I think I have one of each pattern. And we're just going to, let's see if I can get this all in the frame. I'm going to make sure that I'm up here in the frame. We are just going to kind of layer these down just like this. 
And you know what? I should have used the other side, but that's okay. We'll do it like this. This way, kind of just like that. It doesn't have to be straight. It doesn't have to be really kind of any order because we're going to put a tag on top of it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of lay it down as you want it. So cute. I'm already excited about this card. I think it's so adorable. So fun. All right, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with this one this time. We'll layer these going down. Let's stick this one on. About just like that. Perfect. All right, well, this card is moving along. All right, so let's catch up this tag. We already have the ribbon and the balloon on this one. So let me get my scissors. And we're just going to fussy cut this balloon really quick. This is an easy one to fussy cut. The stamp a stack of cards. There is one card where you do have to fussy cut the goose. But the other two cards, we're stamping them directly onto the card. So you don't have to worry about fussy cutting the goose. Okay, for our, for our little balloon, we want to pop that up. I'm just going to use the edge of one of my one of my dimensionals. You could also use a mini dimensional for that. I'm going to pull that off and we're just going to pop that balloon up. So it's going to hang off the edge of that tag, just like that. All right, I'm going to thread this through and I'm not going to tie a bow. I'm just going to kind of put it in so it's about even. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a loop with my front, with my front ribbon here. I'm going to wrap this around the front of that front ribbon and then just tuck it in the back and just give that a little pull. You may have to kind of tighten it as you pull it and that's okay. Let's, let's try that again. <laughs> let's try it again. It's the pressure of the camera guys. I swear. So we're going to loop it around the front, tuck it in the back and give it a pull. There we go. Loop put it in the front, tuck it in the back, and then you can just kind of finagle it. By doing it that way, by eliminating that knot, you're really going to cut down on the bulk and you're going to be able to mail this card. This ribbon is the Fresh Freesia um, ribbon in the, our annual catalog. I love this ribbon. It's very shiny. It's soft. It's easy to tie a bow and it's very light. Okay, so we're ready to put these onto our cart. So I'm actually going to stick dimensionals on the back of all of these. So we're going to add some, about five dimensionals, I think. One in the middle and one in each corner. And that will give us some good dimension for all of these little tags. Okay. Now remember, if you want to get the make and take kit for these cards, um, you can send me an email to see if there are any left. I will send you a a PayPal link and once I get your payment these kits are ready to ship if you need to get the stamp set you will have to purchase that you can shop for that in my online store remember if your order reaches $50 you will get to choose a celebration product as well so we're gonna stick our, our little tag on just like that again we're not putting it on straight I'm just gonna stick it on and just like that and one more just like that. Isn't that fun? All right, all we have to do now, we just need to add our greeting and then our pearls and we are done. Now for our greetings, I'm gonna lay these up here. For our greetings, I'm going to put a dimensional on the left side of every greeting. I know I'm putting it on the right here, but when you flip it over, it'll be on the left side. And then we're going to add some adhesive on the, on the right side so that it sits flat. It's, half of it's gonna lay onto the tag, half of it's gonna lay off the tags. We wanted to sit nice and flat. So peel off those backings on your tags. Then I'm just going to come through with my stamp and seal. You can use a glue dot or the liquid glue for this. Just a little bit. And silly goose told me it's your birthday. So fun. So cute. And these are gonna be ready to go. Our final step is just some iridescent pearls and we're just gonna add three of these. So I'm going to do one down here on the DSP and then I'm gonna do two on the tag, just like that. So let me pull that down, we'll do that again. One on the DSP and two on the tag, just like that. And our final card for this one Fantastic. There we go. That is the first in this series of three videos. 
This is the first Silly Goose card. All right, guys, thanks so much. Join me tomorrow for video number two for our second installment of this series. Have a great day. Bye.